In this video, I'll review web.com. We'll look at their ease of use, pricing, customer support, and more. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding whether web.com is the right option for you. And by the way, if you would like to sign up to web.com, make sure to use my link down in the description. And with that in mind, let's get started. The pros of web.com. Cheap intro offer. Your first month with web.com will only cost you $1.95 and comes with a custom domain too. After this, your subscription price renews at $10 every four weeks. Publish a site almost instantly. Web.com gives you an industry-specific template with free photos, headings, menus, and other content potentially saving a lot of time and hassle. 24-7 phone support. While webs.com other help options aren't always too useful, I did like webs.com 24-7 phone support. It's reassuring to know someone can answer your questions whatever time zone you're in. The cons of web.com. No free plan. Sadly, web.com doesn't offer a free plan or a free trial. So if you want to use it to build your website, you're going to have to commit and pay a monthly subscription from the off. Limited customization tools. It's simple to make the majority of edits on web.com, but the row-based editor can limit your creative control. Lack of advanced components. You can drag and drop more sophisticated elements such as promotional pop-ups or a booking calendar. Overview of web.com. Let's cut straight to the chase. I like web.com. It's not the very best of the bunch, but nor is it the worst either. Instead, it's solid and reliable and does a good job of building straightforward, basic websites without all the extra bells and whistles. Web.com has recently undergone some major updates, meaning that it's now easier and quicker to build a website. Its editor in particular has seen some big improvements, switching to a row-based drag and drop format that makes it easy to add and rearrange elements within your template. Although its features aren't super advanced, web.com comes with all the basics so you can customize each website page to reflect your business and brand. Plus, if you know how to code, you'll be able to do and add more. Its cheap starting prices are also worth mentioning too. Build a website for just $1.95? Yes, please. Be aware though, this price is only valid for the first four weeks. After this, you will renew at $10. In the grand scheme of things, however, this is still relatively cheap, making it a good option if you need to keep an eye on your budget. Is webs.com website builder the right option for you? Webs.com target users are small businesses, and I agree that's exactly the type of user this builder is perfect for. With this platform, you can build an attractive and professional looking website in around an hour. It's ideal if you want to add an online presence to your current business offering. However, its features are limited in certain areas. For example, during my testing, I couldn't add a booking system, online calendar, or a promotional pop-up. I also wouldn't recommend it if you're looking to start a blog. If these are elements you need, I'd recommend looking elsewhere. How easy is webs.com website builder to use? In the past, web.com had a bit of a reputation for being overcomplicated and long-winded, but happily, this is no longer true. Recent improvements now mean that it's simple to build a website with web.com thanks to its drag and drop editor and helpful onboarding process. When you first get started, webs.com process is quick and painless. You'll be asked to choose how you want to build your website, yourself or through an artificial design intelligence builder before being redirected to the template library. Although not groundbreaking, all of webs.com templates are clean and professional looking. You can sort them by industry so it's easier for you to find a template that's relevant to you. Some industries have fewer templates than others, but there's at least one for everyone and you can make it your own when it comes to customization. Once you've chosen your template, it's time to add your unique brand stamp. I particularly liked webs.com tour around the editor. It's great for beginners who've never built a website before and shows you where all of the most important parts are. It also comes with with some helpful tips to get you started too. Using the editor. Webs.com editor is very similar to others that I've tested. It uses a limited drag and drop format, which means you can select the components you want and drag them where you'd like them. This makes it super easy for you to make changes to your template. Everything you will need can be found in the intuitive left-hand sidebar. All you need to do is select and drag. And if you need to change the color scheme, upload new images or add your own text, everything can be done with just a few clicks. However, there are some limitations to what you can do. Similar to Squarespace and Weebly, webs.com templates are organized into rows. This means you can move things around within these boundaries, so you can't exactly put things anywhere. When you drop them into the editor, they'll snap into place within the invisible guidelines. If you like to have complete creative control, you might find it frustrating, but for those who like it to have a structure, you will appreciate the skeleton framework that web.com provides. How good are webs.com templates? 
Web.com has over 100 templates to choose from, all of which are split by industry. Whether you're starting an online store, a restaurant website, or a portfolio, there's something for everyone, even if some of the industries only have one or two designs to pick from. As well as giving you a choice of industries, Web.com also offers two versions of each theme, a single page layout or a multi-page one. This means that if you want to, you can put everything onto one single homepage, or you can expand and add extra pages. Whether you go for single or multi-page, there's still one thing you need to be sure of, that your website looks great. So how do webs.com templates perform in this area? Well, they're not the best designs I've ever seen, but they're far from the worst. All the templates look clean and professional, which are two of the most important things to consider when building your website. However, I did notice that the layouts looked pretty similar. Of course, you can customize them to your unique preferences. Thanks to the many different row layouts that web.com offers in its editor, I'm sure it won't be too difficult to add your own spin. However, I would like to have seen some more advantageous designs tucked away in there too. Customizing your template. Thanks to webs.com's straightforward editor, customizing your chosen theme isn't hard. As I mentioned earlier, there are some restrictions because of the row-based layout. But if you're not one for complete creative control, it's all pretty simple. One of the easiest ways to make your template stand out is by reordering the old blocks and adding new ones in. Web.com comes with a ton of pre-made layouts for everything from galleries to testimonials. That way, you can fill your home pages with all the good stuff that makes your unique brand. I'd also suggest connecting your web.com websites to Google Analytics. This is crucial for tracking the performance of your site and understanding understanding what your visitors want. Then in the future, you can adapt and edit your website to meet their needs. Outside of this though, it's worth noting that web.com doesn't offer the most advanced features. When I tested it, I couldn't add a promotional pop-up, a calendar, or a booking system. I also find it quite tricky to insert a blog, although I managed it in the end. Despite this, there is an advanced section where you can add your own code if you have the know-how. I don't expect that most beginners will want to dabble in code though, so if you need pop-ups or a booking system, I recommend looking elsewhere. How good is webs.com help and support? Web.com offers a few ways to get in touch if you get stuck such as email, live chat, and phone support. In my opinion, the best option out of the three is the 24-7 phone line. The live chat tool is super useful too, especially if you're not keen on speaking to people over the phone. However, sometimes the answers can be slightly vague compared to the support you receive if you just speak to someone directly. If you'd rather use a third option, you can raise a ticket support, but when I've tried this, I hit a brick wall when the system asked me to log in with a secret word. Social media. Webs.com, Facebook, and Twitter pages are popular and responsive. Its posts cover all of its services, so you can use these channels if you're struggling to reach the team in other ways. Web.com also comes with a knowledge base where you can use the search bar to pursue numerous articles to help with your issues. However, I found it slightly tricky to find what I was after. This is because Web.com also sells hosting and domains, meaning that my search results weren't always about website builders. Rather than searching, you can use icons under the search bar to head straight to all website builder articles, which I think is much more efficient. Online business articles. Online business articles are surprisingly good. Every cloud has a silver lining though, and webs.com's small business website form is an awesome resource. It's not a format in the usual sense of users sharing ideas and problems. Instead, it's an archive of great online business articles. Make sure to bookmark the ones you like so you can refer back for tips while you're setting up your own small business site. Webs.com pricing. Is it worth the investment? Web.com offers three website plans. All three comes with super discounted rates for the first four weeks before returning to a normal monthly price. You can also choose to pay month by month or similar to other website builders annually. Unsurprisingly, the annual payment means that you'll be saving more overall. Here's how much you pay to join followed by the full price per month and per year. The starter package, the first month of the starter package is $1.95, then the full price for per month is $10, First annual term is $50, and then a second annual term renewal is $100. Their marketing package, the first month for the marketing package is $2.95, full price per month is $15, first annual term is $75, and the second annual term renewal is $150. Their e-commerce package, the first month for the e-commerce package is $3.95, full price per month is $20, first annual term is $100, and second annual term renewal is $200. All three plans include the following, drag and drop website builder, free domain name for a year, library of stock photos and videos, hosting, analytics, and social media integrations. 
you'll need to be on a higher plan or pay separately for site submission to Google and other search engines, option to sell online, and domain name renewal after the year. Although not necessarily bad value for money, web.com isn't outstanding in this category. Those on a budget will appreciate its lower starting prices, but it doesn't offer a free trial or a free plan. So you'll need to commit to paying for at least the first month if you want to test it out. Web.com review summary. Should you give this website builder a chance? Thanks to its recently updated editor, web.com now sits firmly in the middle of the website builder ranking. This means that it's a good option if you're looking for a straightforward platform to build a basic website. It comes with all the necessary features to create a simple business website or small e-commerce store. However, it won't be for everyone. If you want to build something more complex, you might find that a web.com lacks some more advanced features, particularly if you don't have the skills to code them in yourself. For e-commerce, especially if you want to grow your store rapidly, I recommend looking at either Shopify Shopify or big commerce instead. Saying that, web.com does have some good points going forward. It's super easy to use and comes with a wide range of templates to help you create a professional looking site. Plus, its starting prices are incredibly cheap, so you won't be losing too much if you give it a try and decide it's not for you. And by the way, if you would like to sign up to web.com, make sure to use my link down in the description. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.